Hello everybody, thank you for watching and welcome back to our short Mac trainings. Today we're going to explore some more keyboard shortcuts that will make uh, that will make you move around finer easily, right? So most of them are command shift shortcuts, command, command shift uh, key combination. So shift command H, for example, it's your home folder, right? Uh, shift command A is your application folder. Shift command C is your computer. Uh, shift command R is the airdrop. Shift command D is the desktop. Because shift command D is the desktop, your documents will not be shift command D anymore. It's going to be shift command O for the documents. Right? Um, shift command U for utilities. And that's about it for now. Actually, Shift Command means go to. Right? You can you can see that key combination is a go to command. Actually, if you press Shift Command G, it's going to open up uh, a go to folder dialog window where you can actually type the location where you want to go. Right? Okay. Another cool feature, uh, actually implemented in Mountain Lion, is that. When you copy a, a folder, so let's let's set this up. Uh, shift command K. I forgot to tell you about this one. Shift command K is your network, right? And uh, I'm gonna open up this folder over here and copy a big folder from here. There we go. Right. So let's actually hold on. This is command delete. Let's open this one and copy this folder right here. You're going to see that the new folder is going to show a progress bar and an X, right? X looking like a small icon. You can use this icon to actually stop the process, not stop it, but reverse it. Nothing else will actually be copied. Nothing will actually be copied, right? So if you press it, everything stops, the folder disappears, right? The same effect has the command period key combination, right? So if we try to copy it again, press command period. The, the only thing is that you're going to have to, you need to have this copy window in focus. Right? Command period, there you go, it goes away. Alright? Okay, the last trick for today, uh, let's say you have a text file open, something you copied from the internet or something you're just um, you know, editing and you realize that to get what you need uh, you're gonna you're gonna need an advanced word processing application like uh, word that I have over here right just click on the proxy icon and drag it all the way down to the word application and the file uh, word is going to take over the editing of the file right the same thing is valid with um, with the iTunes Excel, Outlook, at least these are the ones that I know. Right. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out my blog, watermarked at the, at the bottom of the video.